All right, it's Blake Cousins, and I'm back again with Brian Forrester. And let me tell you, we've been going over some incredible discoveries over there in Lima, Peru. But today we're going to be going to Lebanon and Baalbek. And what are we looking at here? Some people are claiming it's the biggest mega structure ever discovered. This thing is massive. And Brian's with us and he was there on location. Thus the incredible imagery that you're looking at right now. Brian, welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Always a pleasure, thank you. All right, so now uh, we're looking at this. What do you think this represented? Why did they build this thing? Is it some kind of pillar? It's very strange. The standard story is that uh, is that Baalbek was built by the Romans, but you have these foundation blocks that weigh a thousand tons. There are three in a row, and then in the quarry there, that stone is estimated to be at least twelve hundred tons. Yeah, there's really no explanation of any reason why it was built, other than uh, just to build something huge. Do you think this thing was actually standing up vertical at one point? The three. Uh pillars that were discovered there no it's still actually attached to the bedrock which is really interesting uh there's another one in the quarry that weighs about a thousand tons and that uh that stone was partially quarried later by the romans but we're obviously looking at examples of lost ancient high technology and a mysterious unknown civilization that was there thousands of years before the romans ever existed yeah, this is some of the biggest questions people uh, want to have answers to. How old do you really think these things are? 40,000 years or even older? Well, I think um, a lot of the structures we see like that and also some of the work in Egypt and Peru is at least 12,000 years ago because we do have evidence that there was a global cataclysm 12,000 years ago, uh, uh, which also is the time frame for when Atlantis was supposedly collapsing. So uh, that's the best estimate we have, at least twice as old a civilization as we know it. Yeah, this cataclysmic uh, event, is there any kind of evidence of what it was exactly? Was it maybe an asteroid, a, a big tidal wave, a massive earthquake? Well, there's a lot of evidence from different scientists that it was something that came from outside of our galaxy, either a comet or asteroids or something like that that hammered the Earth and caused the end of the last ice age, the rising of sea level by more than 300 feet, huge earthquakes and uh, volcanoes erupting and stuff like that, ending civilizations. Absolutely, so we see in the video, you basically have really um, unrestricted access to this thing. You're able to walk on it. What do the people in the area think it really is? Is there any explanation from uh, the park over there of what their theory is? Well, the great thing is that it's actually on um, on private property, as far as I know. It, it was the garbage dump of the area until this man decided that he wanted to clean it up and uh, offer it to the public. So the local people in general believe that um, the Romans built it, or those that want to go a little more extreme believe that the Nephilim or the fallen angels built it because Mount Hermon which is uh, where the Bible tells us that the fallen angels descended, is only a couple of hours' drive away. Yeah, so this guy just so happened to stumble across this thing. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. So do you see any kind of moder or any kind of uh, tooling on there, any chips? Or, again, is this some kind of mysterious uh, kind of reasoning on how this thing was constructed? Well, we actually see the tool marks. It's like a series of parallel chisels, which is also what we see on the Giza Plateau and also at Petra in um, Jordan. So I think it could have been the same ancient culture that was working in all three locations 12,000 plus years ago. So when you walk on it, how do you feel? Do you feel some kind of energy coming from it? This thing must have took uh, who knows how long to construct. Well, I think we're definitely looking at high-tech tools that were used. Uh, the stone is limestone, so it's kind of energetically neutral as compared to something like granite. But just when the you see it for the first time from a distance, it looks like a movie set. Yeah, it's, it's basically almost surreal. It does look like almost a movie prop. Why would this uh, 
be even built for what reason may be, like you say, it wasn't uh, f completed. It's still connected to the bedrock. If this were in its final stages of completion, what would you imagine it would look like? Would it stand vertical or is this just their basic purpose to show that they could build something out of the bedrock? I think it was going to be a horizontal stone that was, was to be moved to the actual Baalbek site, which is about a mile away. And it, it appears that some event suddenly stopped the work on the project. And I, I think that was an ancient cataclysm that simply hammered that location and other places in Egypt and Greece and Turkey and, and places like that, all, maybe all at the same time. So as far as this structure, it is basically the biggest known structure of one single piece of uh, rock in a formation that we know of, correct? Yeah, I mean, it's the, it's, in terms of science, science has, has shown that um, clearly it's an artificial construction. Some people have said that there are megalithic sites in Russia, et cetera, that are bigger, but I've seen no actual scientific evidence of that. So the Baalbek stones are probably the largest stones ever worked on, um, ever. Possibly a place of uh, worship, maybe? Oh, definitely. That's, uh, again, that's, uh, I think that the Romans found the location. They, they found these massive stones in place about a mile away. So they built their temples on top of it. But what the original builder's intent was, I honestly have no idea. Yeah, it is a mystery still yet to be solved. But we want to share this incredible uh, discovery basically in recent times to the world. Brian Forrester, how do you tell people how to find you on YouTube and and if they want to get in contact you, with you to uh, book a tour? Uh, the best way is my uh, website, which is hiddenincatours.com. And then you can find me on YouTube. I have uh, 915 videos now, I think. And we'll be going back to Baalbek in March of 2018. Well, it is an incredible uh, library of videos that you have on your YouTube channel, and we're going to be supplying the original links below. We're going to be having Brian Forrester back next week again for more incredible uh, updates from the region. Brian Forrester, you take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Always a pleasure to be with the Cousins Brothers. Thank you, sir, and uh, everybody from around the world. If you see anything amazing, send it to us right here at Third Phase Moon. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. Third phase of the moon. Control is in flight and we have a situation here. Control. By popular demand, Paul Baird is back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below.